Hi everyone, Sam Smyers here. I'm an artist and music producer in Los Angeles, California. Today I want to talk about how to consolidate MIDI and audio clips. I want to also talk about how to consolidate and combine multiple audio or MIDI clips. So if you have multiple audio tracks, combining them down into one. The first thing to go over is how do I consolidate multiple clips? If we look at this track, I have these guitar strums, each are individual clips of a strum hit. And so what I did is I played each of those individually. And if I want to make that into one clip, then all I have to do is select all of these clips. And I did that by hitting shift and clicking all of them. And then I can hit command J and that will consolidate it into one clip. Or I can just right click and hit consolidate. And then I can just take this one clip and I can hit command D and copy it throughout the track, or I can hit option and drag it over and copy it where I want. I can also do the same thing for MIDI if I have multiple MIDI clips. For example, I have bass where I played it in MIDI. And now if I wanted to combine both of those, then I hit Command J. Or of course I can right click and hit Consolidate. And then I can just copy this throughout the track wherever I want to put it. Now if I want to print all of the effects onto the audio, so if I have this guitar strum, and you can see I have this guitar rig FX, I have some chorus effect and I have a amp modeler on it, and if I want to print that onto the actual audio, then what I can do is I can right click, freeze the track, and then once it's frozen, I can hit this flatten. And what I usually do is I'll duplicate this original track to keep the original intact if I need to go back and make any changes, and then I will flatten this duplicated track. And now this will have the effects printed onto it. Another thing that we can do is once we freeze this original track, we can create a new audio track, insert new audio track, and then I can just click on the clip that I want to print and hit option and drag it down. And that will automatically create a copy of this audio with all the effects on it. And so I did that instead of hitting flatten by right clicking. Same thing applies for MIDI. So I have this MIDI bass. I can duplicate it, right click, freeze the track, and then I can flatten. And now I have the bass turned into audio. And this can help you save CPU power because now I can turn off the instrument bass, make this smaller and turn it off and just keep it in the session in case I need to go back and make any changes to the MIDI. Now I have the audio of the bass. Now that we have the basics of consolidating down, let's get into how to combine multiple audio tracks into one audio track. Here I have a kick and a snare. Let's say I want to combine the kick and snare into one audio track. What I'll do is I'll insert a new audio track and I will send both the kick and snare to this new audio track. Go to kick and snare before it was being sent to the master and I change it to kick and snare. Both of these now say kick and snare. Switch this to no input. 
let's go ahead and hit record. Make sure this, if you want to listen to it, is turned to in. So now I just recorded the kick and snare to a new audio track. Let's take a listen to that. Now I can get rid of the kick and snare individually if I don't want them anymore, or turn them off and keep them in the session if I ever want to go back to them. Another way that I can do this is I can use resampling. So after I've created a new audio track, I can go to resampling here. And what resampling does is it takes the master output from Ableton Live and it routes it to this track and then it records it. So anything that you're listening to from the master output is going to be recorded. If there is any plugins on your master output, so for example here I have a mastering chain on, I'm going to go ahead and turn those off because I don't want them to be recorded onto this track. Next what I do is I'm going to solo the King Snare and I'm going to make sure that they're being sent to the master and make sure this is turned to record and then I'll hit record. Now I'm going to take this off of resampling and play the whole track together. And now I can just copy that kick and snare over again. Then I can even select all of these clips and consolidate them. So that is how you consolidate clips in Ableton Live. That's how you consolidate audio clips, MIDI clips, and how to combine multiple audio tracks into one audio track. That can help you save processing power and help you organize your session a lot easier. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.